What does he have? Ooh, he's got a bicycle over there I actually kind of like too. How much is the bicycle? 4,200. Yep, we'll buy it. So let's take a look at these, but I have to look at my app and see which ones are real. <laughs> Welcome to Darling Games, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we are on January 19th. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Daisy, it's 2.55 p.m. on Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Exciting. I hope the entire island joins me in giving a warm welcome. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. We moved our house uh, oh, we have somebody calling us. My phone is ringing. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. We've sent a payment to your bank account for 7,024 bells for what you left in the drop box. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. All right, let's see what's in our mailbox first. Ozzy sent us something. And then Nook Inc., we've completed the expansion of your home. Oh, good, we're gonna be able to see the expansion. And then Happy Home Academy, congratulations to celebrate your new addition to your home. Please accept this gift. It's fun to create a space based on your hobbies where you're surrounded by things you love. All right, let's see what's in these gifts. Let's check her out. So Ozzy sent us, oh, a velvet stool. Thank you, Ozzy. Nice, okay. And then what did we get from the Happy Home Academy? We got a marimba, very interesting, with Ozzy's little stool. They actually kind of go together, don't they? Okay, we'll just leave those out there. So I'll take you in my house now. We've done an expansion. And as you can see, we've gathered some fish stuff. We've got the fish wallpaper and we have one of the fish um, portraits and the door hanging and the rug. And then I have this really cool light that I absolutely love that is so pretty. It was in my shop. So I actually uh, was pretty busy doing the fishing tournament and got a lot of the stuff. So now we have a new side room because we made a whole bunch of money from the fishing tournament and I was able to pay off my house and expand it. So that's it for inside the house. Those are the little changes that we've made. And then we relocated our house as well up here to this hilltop. I thought this was kind of a really good place for the house to be. So we are up here. We're gonna have to get an incline at some point. We did um, actually, let me take you over here because we did create another bridge right there. So we created a bridge and then we've got one that we have no money at this moment. So we've got one gonna go in there as well, but I'm just doing these basic bridges because I feel like they're a lot less money. So the fishing tournament, I'll take you over here. We got all of the swag from the fishing tournament. So I got two of the anchor because I wasn't sure if I had everything. So we got everything. We've got the stuff that was in the house. Plus we've got the cooler and the drying rack and all of this stuff. And then actually we got so many points that we got the silver trophy and the bronze trophy. So the only trophy that we're missing is the gold one. So I kind of was thinking that I would like on this island maybe to shoot for perfection. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I might want to do that. So perfection meaning like completing all the tasks, doing like all the fishing tournaments, getting all the stuff. Uh, same with like the bug off and the different holidays and all that kind of stuff. So I probably, if I'm going to shoot for perfection, I'm not going to be able to limit myself to not time traveling because I'm probably going to have to time travel at some point to be able to finish the things. But I don't know. I kind of, um, I was going through, um, I'm trying to think what the website was that I was looking. It might've been like the Wikipedia, like the Animal Crossing wiki. Maybe that's what I was looking at. And it was kind of going through like all the different holidays and stuff and all the different items that you're able to get. And I thought it'd be kind of a cool idea to actually just like complete everything on this island and fill in all the Nook Miles. So you have to let me know what you think about that. But I haven't done it with my other island. I mean, I could always go to my other island, my original, my OG island and do it there. But I don't know. I kind of thought it'd be fun to video record just kind of all the steps of the way to perfecting the island. Because I had seen, I actually was watching where on Stardew Valley they do the perfection route on Stardew Valley where you have to get like every, all these, this list of all these things. 
like you have to capture get all the fish and you have to get all the um i'm trying to think oops i didn't need that I actually needed a shovel do i not have a sho oh there it is it's over there it's hiding from me but you have to gather like all these different types of things with stardew valley become friends with all these people and I thought it would be kind of cool. And then I was watching where a lot of people are doing this Animal Crossing Hardcore, which sounds really neat as well. Ooh, let's get this balloon. The Hardcore, I feel like, sounds really interesting. One of the creators, Pat, uh, with Nintentalk, he created this kind of method of uh, doing Animal Crossing. Stylish Spotlight, what is that? Oh, okay. Let's turn it around so we can see what it actually is. Oh, so it's literally just a spotlight. So yeah, he created this method of doing Animal Crossing or playing Animal Crossing that would kind of make it more interesting, make it go a little slower so you couldn't just speed through it. Like you can, for instance, some of the things that he's got. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to water them. See, I get talking and then I don't do what I'm supposed to do. But anyway, he created this thing, this idea that you would only sell bugs to Flick and you would only sell your fish to CJ. You could only sell things like in the Dropbox as opposed to actually going into the Nook's Cranny. Kind of similar like what Stardew Valley and some of the other simulation games do. And it seemed like kind of a fun idea. I don't know. So I'm like kind of debating if I want to do it or not. But as I was listening to that, I thought, you know, I've always kind of wanted to have like a perfect island where I completely finished everything. So I'm not sure if I want to restart one of my islands, because I do have an island I could restart. Not this one. I'm going to continue with this one. But there is one that I could actually restart to do that, but I'm just not 100% sure that I want to do that. So I'm kind of leaning more towards just trying to perfect this island and seeing if we can accomplish like all the different tasks and stuff. I don't know. So it does not look like I got any hybrids, which is unfortunate because I was really hoping to be able to get some of the hybrids. Of course, I don't know. I think I watered it the last time. I'm, I know I did, but then I kind of went out and went back in to play the fishing tournament several times. So yeah, right after I recorded the last time, I actually, it was a Saturday and I actually had to like start packing and stuff because my son and I were going on a trip to New York. So I knew I was going to probably want to play like the fishing tournament on the airplane. So it's kind of why I cut it a little bit short because I wanted to like really just go all out and play the fishing tournament and get everything. So an airplane is like the perfect, I swear the, the switch is like the perfect size. You know what? I don't think I have to water these because it's snowing. Hey, okay. So let's stop doing that. Let's go over and do we have to water our plants? Like our crops? Ooh, they're grown. Let's go over there and pick them. We didn't water them enough, so we only got two. That's another thing on the hardcore one. You are not allowed to pick them and sell them unless you have three of them. So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not such a fan of that rule, but I do kind of like the idea of the So anyway, um, I, oops, I don't have any more room. I better go sell some things. I was doing the fishing tournament on the airplane to New York, and we actually had a layover. I'm going to sell stuff here. We had a layover in Charlotte. So I just kind of, it was like an hour and a half flight either way, like an hour and a half to Charlotte and then an hour and a half to New York. So, and we went to JFK airport to get out. I was so, I've never been to New York. So I don't know if any of you guys have been to New York. It was quite an experience. I'm from a much smaller city than New York. Um, I've been to Chicago because uh, my son actually on and off has lived in Chicago. He's actually moving to Chicago in a couple of weeks again. He had lived there for a while, moved home, and then now he's moving back to Chicago. So I've been to Chicago and that's pretty, that's pretty big. I've been to Seattle. Seattle's fairly decent size, um, but I've never been to a place as big as New York. It was quite the experience. So I, obviously I was able to do a ton of fishing because I got all those trophies and stuff. So I just have a little bit more to do to be able to actually get the gold trophy because I'm well over 200 points. Oops, we got to ask him what he wants. Or is it a she? Maggie, it's a she. Is it true that you've been looking for a puffy vest? Well, no, I wasn't. 
but I'm guessing you're going to give me one. That's what I get for listening to gossip. I should have asked before I went shopping for you. Oh, you're so sweet, Maggie. How about if I just give you the puffy vest? Okay, I will take it. Thank you, Maggie. All right, let's go around. Let's go back to what we were doing. So yeah, so when I got off JFK, it was pretty interesting. Um, interesting to say the least. We had, my son actually booked like an Uber to be able to take us to our hotel because our hotel was like in Times Square area, which Times Square, oh my gosh, don't even get me started on Times Square. That is like chaos, complete chaos. But so we got to the area where you're supposed to catch your Uber and there was a, it's like under an overpass or like you're underneath kind of like a highway. I'm thinking the highway was running on top. It's either the highway or it was just like another area for the parking and stuff, but you were underneath like a concrete ceiling essentially. So you know how everything reverberates and echoes under that? Yeah, so there was a cop car at the end of it, which was a good 20 vehicle length to the one side. And every, literally, I swear it was like every minute that cop car would run its siren. And I guess the goal was to hurry everybody up so that everybody was like quickly getting into their vehicles and leaving. Oh, we already have sold all that. Let's go back and sell these. Or we've already picked enough, I should say. Our pockets are full, so we're gonna go sell these. So it kind of freaked me out because I have never experienced such a thing where it seemed so um, almost hostile. I don't know. It was, it was pretty interesting. I, that, at that moment, I was wondering if I had made a mistake because that was pretty um, nerve wracking having a siren going off like literally every minute or two in order to keep the traffic. And when we finally got our Uber, it was like three or four cars out into the street. And so we had to like run to get into it and hurry up and get in because I was afraid somebody was going to hit us. But anyway, so that was my airport experience out there at JFK. So I don't know. I think New York for me is like a one and done. I don't know if I will ever go there again. I don't know that it's going to call my name. But the whole reason that I actually went was because Phantom of the Opera on Broadway is apparently only going to be running for a couple more months according to my son so i didn't look it up myself but he's telling me that it's the show is coming off broadway that they might actually like go on the road with it but that it will not be staged in new york anymore and that musical actually came out when i was very young um i was actually i was in eighth grade when that thing came out and i really wanted to see it like all my friends went to chicago to see it and we just weren't in a place financially when I was young to be able to do like Broadway musicals and stuff. So I did not go see it when I was young and I've always kind of wanted to see it. And so when my son was telling me he was going to go see Phantom of the Opera and he was going to New York and going to get a hotel, I just decided that he was fine with me tagging along. So I just decided to tag along and go as well. We just split the bill. But the musical was amazing. The musical made the whole trip worth it. New York itself, Times Square was kind of, hmm, I don't know, a little too flashy, a little too much going on. A little bit scary for somebody like me who's not used to such a big city. So, but yeah, it was, it was quite interesting. I played tons and tons of fishing for Animal Crossing. I actually did get a couple of fish for the museum. I think I got one of those, those gold, that goldfish that has like the eyes popping out. I can't think what it's called. I got one of those. I got the the fish out in the ocean that scrapes the bottom of the ocean. Well, it doesn't scrape the bottom of the ocean, but it's like, um, it's got that eyeball, that black fish that has, is it called a football fish maybe? So I got one of those. I got a really huge fish and I can't think what it was called. But so I got a few of the fish that I didn't have in my museum plan, probably three or four of them. So that actually ended up being good because it added to our fishing collection. Oops, we are full again. All right, let's go sell some more. So we should, we're gonna be like racking up the money because we've got all of this stuff that we can sell. We're just selling through the Dropbox, why? I don't know, I kind of like the idea of just selling through the Dropbox. That's part of that whole hardcore. And I don't know, it's just one of the rules that I actually kind of like. I think it's kind of a neat idea. So I might actually implement like some of those rules just in my normal gameplay, just because I think they're fun. 
Oh, we actually need to go get our fossils evaluated. It's one of our Nook Plus. We'll finish with the trees real quick because I want to get all the trees done. So did anybody do anything fun for the last few weeks? We had, I work for a government office, so we had Martin Luther King holiday, which is why I ended up taking the week off because it, I have to use less vacation time when I take it off on like a holiday week. So it was kind of the perfect uh, time to go. Oh, the other thing that I did see actually, we went to the 9-11 museum. Have any of you guys been to that? It's quite, um, it's quite humbling. It definitely makes you realize like that life can be cut so short so quickly. It was just really, um, it was kind of hard to see all of that like recreated and, and just all of the things that had happened back then. I can, it actually brought back, like I can remember the day that it happened and what I was doing. Um, my son, he doesn't remember it because he was born a year later. So he was not alive when 9-11 happened, but he was born a year and a day later. He was actually born on September 12th. But I remember on the 9-11 that my husband was up and I worked second shift. So he must have been off for some reason. And he came upstairs, it was like 8.30 in the morning or, well, it must have been closer to 9 because I think it happened to like 8.40 something. And he came upstairs and he's like, come downstairs, you've got to see what's going on. And um, a plane has hit one of the towers in New York. And so I came downstairs and we watched it. And then we watched just the whole thing unfold. It was heart-wrenching. I can just remember what I felt at that time, like that sense of hopelessness that people could just be so cruel to cause something like that. But yeah, they, the museum was quite interesting. They did a really beautiful job of making a memorial to all of those people. So I really loved that. Um, we went on to the new World Trade Center that they built. We went to the top. And then we went to Hudson Yard, the Edge building, and went to the top of that where you can actually like walk outside up on the top of it and see the whole city. So yeah, it was quite interesting. Um, I'm glad I went. I definitely, it was definitely on my bucket list of things to do in my life. But I can assure you, I will probably not return to New York. I think that was a one and done for me. We have so many fruit trees. It just like takes forever to collect all these fruit trees, this fruit from these fruit trees. Oh, there it is. I was like, I know it dropped somewhere over here. I just really want to collect them because I don't want to have the fruit go to waste. I want to be able to sell it because you can only sell stuff every so many days, right? You can only do it when your fruit is harvesting. Or harvested. So yeah, I'm trying just to get more into like the videos again now that work has kind of died down and it's not quite as chaotic as it is during Christmas. Let's go ahead and take all of these these things and sell them. Because yeah, during Christmas my work is just absolute chaos. Very difficult to really focus on anything outside of all the hours that you're putting in trying to do your job. So I feel like I'm kind of getting back to the normal swing of things. And I really want to get back into uh, playing like Stardew Valley. And I was thinking, I actually, I have a series for The Sims that I've been playing. Let me go drop all of these fossils. I'm just going to drop them and then once we get more, I'll go in and get all my fossils assessed. But yeah, I've got this series for The Sims um, that I've been playing and I really want to like create this legacy family, but I really want it to kind of I don't know. Like, I just want to explore a whole bunch of things. And I have this mod in my computer that allows you to kind of make your Sims, like, to cheat up their levels. So, like, if they're really tired, oop, let's talk to him. You've been training? Yeah, no. Do we have a gift for him? Let's see. Maybe we can give him a gift. What kind of a gift do we have to give him? We can give him those. We can give him shoes. Let's give him a pumpkin. Nice. Okay. Because we need to try to get their pictures. Oh, he's giving me something too. A worker's jacket. Nice. So on The Sims, yeah, I've been playing this family and I'm able to like cheat up their levels. So it actually makes the gameplay a lot more fun because you're not constantly just trying to make sure they're not hungry or they're not tired or all that. Well, it just did an update and that mod that I have is not working properly. 
So I don't know. So I was thinking I'm probably going to wait until that mod is working properly to play that family again, just because it's really hard to play like a big family in The Sims if you don't have that if you're not able to like cheat up their levels because yeah it's just hard anybody that plays it you just you know it's just hard so i'm kind of thinking that i am gonna hold off on that but i was thinking about doing just like a rags to riches i was also kind of thinking about doing i was watching james turner and he does this thing called super sim and he i didn't even realize that he had done it until he just did like a live stream here the other day that said he was bringing it back and if you didn't know what he was talking about to go look at it but he essentially makes this sim do every single career do every aspiration get to max level of everything every skill you could possibly do i don't know it kind of sounds like fun i was kind of doing that with ellie um as like a toddler i got her to top-notch toddler and then we did all the childhood aspirations but I'm like, I haven't really thought about doing it as an adult, but I don't know. That might be something that I do. I'm not sure. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that whole family legacy. But I definitely want to get that mod to work first before I go back into it. And I haven't really touched Disney Dreamlight Valley all that much either. Like, I was playing it for a while, and then, I don't know, I kind of fall off. Like, I kind of get bored of games. Do you get bored of games? Like, do you find that... One week you might want to play like a certain game and then you just don't play any of the rest of them. That's kind of how I am. Like for a period of time, I'll just want to play, say, like The Sims. And I just won't even hardly even touch Animal Crossing. And then I'll flip and I'll just want to play Animal Crossing and I'll hardly even touch The Sims or like Stardew Valley. The one really nice thing about this channel is it actually has made me more well-rounded, I guess, with my gameplay. Like it kind of forces me to have to play all of the different things that all the different games and stuff that I that I'm playing because I'm creating like content based on all the different games which is really nice actually and with the sims oh there's a balloon let's get the balloon it's actually kind of slowed me down a little bit made it so that my gameplay is a little more um intentional I guess and not so rushed let's see what we got hoping it's a DIY no, it is a study carol? What is that? Oh, let's turn it around. I didn't know that's what that was called. Okay, well, I guess that's all right. Let's grab all of these. This is probably going to fill up my pockets pretty quickly. So I haven't checked. Oh, we need to go to our campsite, don't we? So I did. That was one of the other things I did offline is I played. Um, I didn't record it, but I put my campsite up and I put it in the back. So I did the bridge and I did the campsite and that kind of stuff. And I did that offline. Wonder if Ozzy has a DIY in there. Let's check and see if he does. Oh, yay, he does. All right, good. Let's go talk to Ozzy. What are you making, sir? Darling, um, watch your step, okay? What are you doing? I'm making me a forbidden altar. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I got to build it before I forget what it even is. Check it out. Plans for a forbidden altar. I can teach you if you want. Yes, please teach me. Leave it to me. I got it all scribbled down right here. So just read this. Nice. Good call. To come here and check out Mr. Ozzy. If I can make it, then I bet you could. Do it in no time, old bear. All right, let's learn it. Isn't this the one that's like stone and it's got like an animal face or something on it. That's what I'm thinking it is. Okay, and let's grab... I keep forgetting where my shovel is because I don't have it with my other stuff. Let's grab this. And then do we have enough to be able to do our money tree? Yes, we do. So let's do our money tree also. Ooh, we have a money tree that's sprouted. Alrighty, let's do 10,000 bells. So that's one of the other rules with that hardcore is you can only plant as many bells as you picked up which would multiply right wouldn't it so like if you picked up a thousand bells and you replant a thousand bells then the next time you would have three thousand bells so then you'd plant three thousand bells the next time you'd have nine thousand bells and so on so i don't know i mean i'm not sure like th the purpose of that rule necessarily but i guess it's all just kind of trying to make the game fun Okay, so we got a couple more fossils. Let's just shake a couple of trees while we're over here too. Ooh, hey, we got our item. Okay, but we're gonna, ooh, it's a picnic basket too, nice. Is there anything that I can kind of just like put on the ground? 
because I'm running out of room. Well, we can put this away. We can drop both of these. We could place that just to kind of empty our pockets. Uh, maybe we should give some stuff away. I don't think we know Ozzy well enough to be able to give stuff away for him, but we still also need to get, while well, we're back here, let's look on the side of the beach because we still need to get our DIY. Oh, hey, there's another tree. All right, let's cut this one down. We're racking up the money. We really need to pay off that bridge. That's actually really good that we're racking up the money because we've got that bridge to pay off today. All right, is it over here? I can't learn that DIY yet because it's a recipe. Okay, it is not over here. So let's just go look for it really quick before we get sidetracked because we know this game gets you sidetracked very quickly. Let's head over to this beach. Is it over here? There it is. All right, let's learn this DIY. What did we get? Bamboo candle holder. Do we have that already? Nope, we don't. Good. I thought you only got the bamboo stuff like in the spring. Why did I think that? For some reason, I thought you only got bamboo like in the early spring. Let's put our net back up again and we probably ought to sell as we go by. Let's go ahead and sell stuff. But I'm not sure which of these trees we've shaken and which ones we haven't shaken. And did we do this rock already? Let's try it and see. We did not. Good call. Okay, so if we did not do that draw rock, I'm guessing we did not shake this tree either. Well, maybe we did. I'm trying to find the other item. What's up, darling? So you got a reaction to show me? I have something to give you today. Here, have this, Rerack. What is it? I just wanted you to have a lantern. Nice. It's just a little something. Will it even let me give him a gift again? Because didn't we just give him a gift? Oh, nope, I can't. All right, let's look at this lantern. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, I did not shake these trees over here. All right, let's sell this stuff really quick. Did we get that rock right there? Hmm, not sure. Okay, we're gonna sell these, all of this stuff. Let's sell that and then let's see if we got this rock because I'm not positive if we did or not. We did, okay. So let's head back this way. We're actually just gonna go up this ladder right here and let's go see who's in our campsite. Who do you guys think it is? Hmm. I don't know. I hope it's somebody good. Lionel. Buongiorno. The name is Lionel. Glad to see I'm the first one using the campsite. I've never had him before. And you live on this island, don't you? I figured, yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really going to enjoy having me here. How very nice of you, sir. Precisely. This island is so great. What makes it so great? Well, I'm glad I asked myself. It's the fun and the sun, the weather and the wind, the local apples, and the baseball scene. It almost makes me kind of think of moving here. You should live here. Wow, I'm honored. An exclusive invitation to an exclusive island for celebrities and entourages. There's just one little thing. I'd hate to be... I'd hate for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with like the VIP manager of the whole island first? Just so I know that this is legit. Sure, leave it to me. Guten Tag. My fate is in your hands. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go talk to Calm Nook. Let's just do it before we get distracted because if I get distracted, then I will not talk to Tom Nook and I will forget to do it. And then he will be there for days and days and days. So let's just go do it right now. Do we have enough money? Because isn't he going to make us buy a plot? Well, hello there, darling. Just like that, your home has another proper room. Hmm? That's another upgrade to an even cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 548,000 bells. Hmm. Ah, yes. Please make your payments using the Nook Stops ABD feature as you've done before. One other thing I should mention. Now that you've made some big improvements to your home, I can start offering customization services. This is not about increasing the size of your home. It's about changing the look of your home's exterior. Of course, the things that we can change depend on the size of your home, but the customization costs are built in. That means you can change things freely without additional loans from your roof to your mailbox. Uh-huh. 
Oh, and speaking of your mailbox, not only can you change its design, you can change its location. Just pick up your mailbox and place it where you'd like. I'll make sure your mail knows where to go. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. All right, Tom, we got to talk to you about this camper. Ah, darling. Hello, hello. Isabel mentioned in, it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. Darling, if you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check out our guest. And if you get an opening, try talking them into moving to Daisy. I already did. I did it. What? Really? Darling, you've done it and so quickly. Then this means we have no time to wait. Hmm. Our next course of action is building a new home. Now, darling, since you closed the deal with your visitor, with our visitor, you should be the one to pick the location for the new house. Leave it to me. Thank you, darling. I knew you'd agree to it. You'll need a housing kit to set aside a plot for their home. So I'll give you that now. It's in with your belongings now. So find a good spot for a home and then come back to see me. Well then, off you go. Where do we want to place him? So let's take a look at our map and we could maybe put him like in that spot kind of behind where our house is, but up on that hill. Or we could put him over by the opposite beach over on the right side. I think I want to put him behind our house up on that hill. All right, let's go do it. So the spot I was thinking is like back here, up in this area. Because we've got Ozzy's house right there. So I was kind of thinking like, what about, what about like right here or, ooh, we gotta grab that. Or right there. Where's the other house? Let me go up here and look real quick. So the other house is right there. I'm thinking probably right, right here. Okay. Let's check this out. Nope, we need to go back one space. Let's imagine it. Yes, we're gonna go right there. Perfect. I picked a spot for a future home to be built. I hope it works. I think that's perfect. Let's grab this rock while we're right here. I don't know where our money rock is. Let's shake these trees real quick. Yeah, our item is somewhere in one of these trees. I'm confident we got some money. We just need that second item. Come on, where are you? Oh, we got a bunch of bees or hornets or wasps. I think they're called wasps. Yes, we've got another one. See, this is how I am. I just leave stuff laying around, especially like when I'm in a hurry to try and like get through it, get through the day and get all the things that I want to get for the day. Then I just like shake everything and leave it to pick it up the next day. Man, where is it? There's another wasp. Oh, hey, red's in the back. Hey, you guys, I did not notice that Red was back there. We're going to have to go take a visit to Mr. Red. Hey, okay, money. I don't think we should. Oh, hey, we got to do that, too. We got to do our little snow, right? We got to make our little snowman. Let's do that real quick. Oops. Let's hope we don't push it in the water. That would not be good. Or if we accidentally push it like against a tree or something. So if it's proportional, if you do it like super small, will it still give you one? Or will it tell you, sorry, you didn't do it big enough? I'm like really curious. I'm curious if we just make an itty bitty little snowman. Okay, we're gonna try this. Oh, it won't go on top of it, will it? <laughs> Darn, I was hoping it would do it, but it will not. Well, it was a good try. It was a good thought. I thought we could make a cute itty bitty little snowman. Maybe we can make a medium size one. Okay, let's do that and let's bring the other one over here. We'll try to make a medium size one. I don't know, I don't know if you have to make the base like completely full size and oh, we got a little bug trying to push the tough. Oh yeah, we can make a medium sized one. Oh, so close. It's almost a perfect snowman. Darn it. He's cute though. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. I'll we'll have to do better next time. Yeah, I did make his head a little bit small, didn't I? Darn. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's go up to our campsite. We did not shake those. Maybe our item is up here. You know, the other ones we did not shake is over by our house. We did not shake those. Well, it must be over there then. Man. Luck is just not on our side today. So let's head over to our house. 
and see if it is maybe over there. What do I have left to do today? I think I've done it. I think I have done everything I wanted to do. Man, where is my item? Seriously, game. Where are you hiding my item? All right, you guys, which ones did I not shake? Is there anything down here that I didn't shake? There's one. Okay, there's some money. Is there something else down here? No, but here's one of these, so let's grab this. I thought I shook these two that are back here. Let's just do it just in case. Yeah, because I got the one out of there, right? What about this one? Was this a fruit tree? Okay, I'm like at a loss where the heck my second one is. We did that one. Did we do these back here? There's nothing back there. Okay, let's just hit all these again just to make sure because maybe it's in this main area and maybe I just didn't get the tree. See, we also didn't find our money rock. So there must be an area that I'm missing. I must be missing something. Okay, we got all of those. Pretty sure we got these back here, because this is where we went first. Okay, did we get that rock? I feel like we did not. Okay, I'll get it in just a second. Is there any other trees back here? No, we might not have got that rock either. All right, you guys, I have no idea where it's at. Because all those trees back on the backside, they're all fruit trees. Let's see what's in that balloon. Is it money? Or is it a DIY? Ooh, bullet bar stand. Just what we needed. Thank you. Let's get these two rocks because I'm not sure if we got these. We did not. There's our money rock. Okay, and I don't think we got this rock back here either. We did not. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing that I can't find the second item out of the tree. Oh well. Oop, there went our shovel. Okay, I think the last thing I'm going to do... Oh, no, two things. Okay, so one, we got to get the ATM so that we get our extra Nook Miles. Ah, darling, hello, hello. Well, did you find a place for us to build a new home? Of course. Oh ho, fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. We want our new island friends to start their lives here as quickly as possible, after all. Hmm, this has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to leave to move here. But scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is much too haphazard a way to doing business. Ah, yes, yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them aside for sale. I'll have to charge a small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. Darling, I hope you can count. I can count on you to help. Of course, sir. All right, let's go to our ATM. We could probably pay on our house a little bit. So we got, oh, did I not have another day? Darn it, probably because I skipped ahead because I was playing on the 14th and then I went to the 19th. Well, that stinks. All right, uh, pay from pockets. Let's just pay the full amount. Okay. Hey, 400,000 is better than 500,000, right? Okay, let's talk to Isabel and see if we can do our island rating yet. Of course, you know what? I have all that stuff dropped, so it's probably gonna be really bad. Uh, nope, can't do it yet. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to clean up before I ask her again. So let's donate to the museum. That way we can get our Nooks Plus. We did not check our Nook shop either. Oh, and we didn't go see Red, you guys. See, there's just too many things to do. Too many things to do in a day. Alrighty, sir, we need to assess some fossils, please. Assess fossils. We've got quite a few, actually. Hopefully some of them I don't need. That way I have a little money because I need to go sell something. Okay, so let's make a donation. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Oh good, we have some extras. Nice, splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. No need to pull them out. Good, good, good. Nothing, I am fine. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go sell these really quick so that we can buy what we want in the shop. And then we also need to go talk to Red and see about buying something from Red. But I'm actually gonna have to look up my Animal Crossing app to see which ones are real. All right, is there anything? Oh, I kinda want that coffee maker. I kinda like that sofa too, actually. All right, so let's sell some stuff because we used all our money on our house. Okay, we're gonna sell all of these. We'll sell that too. And this shell and these. 23,000, nice. 
Okay, we're definitely getting this coffee machine. Kind of expensive, but we're gonna buy it. Okay, and then we're gonna get this couch. This is super cute. Ooh, that's good price. We like that. We like to see it. And then we'll get this wastebasket because I like all this wicker stuff. Or rattan, I guess. Wicker, rattan. It's kind of all the same. I will buy it. All right, so let's go back to red. I'm still bummed I can't find the other, the other item in the trees. I just can't think where it was I didn't look. Okay, so we need to go down here, right? I need to put a ladder down here. What does he have? Ooh, he's got a bicycle over there I actually kind of like too. How much is the bicycle? 4,200. Yep, we'll buy it. Okay, so let's take a look at these, but I have to look at my app and see which ones are real. Okay, so let's go up to the names. What is this statue called? A Valiant Statue. Okay, according to this, there are two different ones. I want a closer look. It says the real one. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm not sure how you like tell. Oh, okay, so the fake one goes the other direction. So this, I think this is the real one because it leans to the right and the fake one leans to the left. So we're gonna buy this sold. Yep, it's all there. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of a Valiant statue. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Let's grab this possibly too. I don't know what we'll use it for, but let's see how much it is. Oh, we don't have enough. Never mind. Never mind. All right, guys, I think we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me at Darling Games, and I will see you next time playing whatever game we decide to play. Bye. Bye.